Hi, welcome back to Lakeside Farm. Today I want to start off on a very good note of thanking every one of you, our subscribers. We have finally reached 5,000 subscribers. Thank you very much for liking our content and thank you very much for subscribing. Today I'm here to talk about goats dying immediately after giving birth or goats dying right before they give birth or them giving birth to dead kids and then also the goats themselves dying. And that is caused by a situation or a condition called pregnancy toxemia. In most cases, even our vets sometimes do not know how to diagnose this. They'll tell you we don't know what happened. I'm not discrediting them that they don't know what they're doing, but the reality is there are some conditions that are rare to us and yet there are other people that have experienced them. Me, I got to learn this from an American farmer who actually explained this to me. Pregnancy toxemia is not actually a disease, but it's an energy deficiency. Basically, it's a nutritional problem. What causes it is that your goats need extra energy and calcium when they are closing to their date of birth. What happens is that these goat kids begin solidifying their bones and solidifying uh, their bodies in the last few weeks of delivery. And what happens is that they will demand a lot of calcium and they will demand a lot of energy. And where are they supposed to get it from? from the mother and if the mother hasn't been consuming enough of this it's also going to face a deficiency and it's even worse if your goat has twins or even more babies within its uh, womb because all these now are depending on the mother and the symptoms of this condition will be you will start seeing your goat lazy it doesn't want to get up to go and eat your goat will start losing appetite, your goat will start having swollen legs, and this can happen to more than one goat in your flock. And when you begin seeing goats dying immediately after giving birth, or right before giving birth, or maybe sometimes giving birth to kids when they're already dead, and then the mother will also last for some time and then dies, that is what we call pregnancy toxemia. And another symptom is you see your goat starting to lose like its senses. You will see like the goat is running mad. Or it will start shivering. Like it can't stand on its legs and it's just shivering. And uh, it's close to giving birth. All that is because of pregnancy toxemia. And remember I've told you pregnancy toxemia is not necessarily a disease. It is a condition caused by the lack of calcium and energy in their bodies. And if you give your goat the right amounts of food and the right kind of nutrition and the right kind of uh, vitamins that it needs, it will not experience all these. But our goats that are in controlled environments sometimes suffer that because they lack the energy and they lack the enough calcium. And if the babies are ready to now put on muscles and ready now to to solidify their bones they have to depend on mama and if mama can't provide definitely they are going to die and mama also has little that means even mama will also die so what do you have to do to ensure that pregnancy toxemia doesn't affect you provide your gut with foods that actually give energy that is why it is more encouraged that when goats are pregnant, you supplement them. You can get like the food that I once told you to make. You can get sunflower, you can get broken maize, you can get your uh, prime leek, you can get chicken starter feed. You know, those things that will give your goats energy and also some good calcium. Because all these foods that the goats eat that are in, in our controlled environments may lack these benefits. But if you give your goats enough quantities, you'll see that your goats will not suffer from pregnancy toxemia. I know it's not easy to see your goats dying right after giving birth or your goats dying right before they give birth or even your goats giving birth to dead kids. It's not easy. It takes a toll on you as a farmer. Even if it's just one goat, to a farmer it means a lot. I know the pain. But you have to watch out for things like pregnancy toxemia. And there are other ways that you can actually avoid pregnancy toxemia, which are very simple as well. There's a, a liquid vitamin called Vetcal. You can find it in uh, veterinary shops and you can also get uh, mineral salts. 
you have to ensure that your goats have mineral salts wherever they are pregnant because it helps them gain more calcium in their bodies and there are lots of vitamins in that mineral salt block that you see there so when you provide it all the time your goats will be able to lick it and get those minerals and if you are providing the other meal as well the one you have mixed it will help them actually have a good nutrition when your goats have a very good nutrition or when they are on the right diet you will not face a half of the problems that farmers face because they will be able to build a good immune system that will support both the mother and the kid inside and will support them to actually fend off all the diseases that come all the other challenges that come to affect them so what you have to do ensure that you have some vitamins readily available for your goats when they are pregnant also ensure that you supplement their feed give them some cereal give them you know that mixture of goats feed that i already told you about if you don't know about it you can find a link of that video in the description below and then you can watch how we do that mix of food it will be very helpful because we were suffering the same thing and recently because we haven't been doing a lot of supplementation we actually faced the same when these kids we have were going were being born we lost two mothers and then we lost some kids because of the same issue of pregnancy toxemia and i had to go and find out what it was exactly and like i told you for me research is very very important to me madam boji keeps on talking about it research when your goat dies don't just write off and say ah i lost a goat find out do a post mortem find out what the problem was ask people ask other farmers ask google there is always information everywhere and when you actually get this information you will see that your farm is improving daily and you will be able to fend off some of these problems that come to kill your goats but anyway coming back to pregnancy toxemia it is going to affect your goats and i've told you the symptoms and if you haven't understood this concept of pregnancy toxemia feel free to reach out you can always reach out the number is here on the screen you can always reach out and we'll be able to discuss these things free of charge meanwhile because we are all farmers we need each other so feel free to reach out feel free to ask any questions even in the comments below feel free to ask and we'll answer all these questions that you have we are not saying we are experts but we also just sit and research find information and bring it to you as we get it thank you very much for watching until next time see you then